Happy New Year! It is January 1st, 2023. Stayed up last night with the girls to see the New Year in and I was still awake at 6 o'clock this morning. So I've been in the office sorting out for Lama, preparing, planning, some of which I should have done before now but I've been busy so I'll just show you what I've been on with. This is the Lama stand on SolidWorks. It's 11 metres by 6 metres. This frame is self-supporting and has the banners on that have the logos on. And then we have the pallets that have this preparing machinery on. These are the compact front boxes and crop rollers and that's a wrap and twine. And so what I've been doing is just working out where stuff's going to fit. So there's two crop rollers on there and a wrap and twine. This frame is to build as well. This has three compact front boxes on it and it also has these arms that are to show that the compact front boxes attach to a tractor when the arms are folded up, which is different to anything else that's available. And it's some because it's different, it's sometimes hard for people to understand it. There's also a table and chairs to go in here, and then this here is for Lactoline. We've got some quite exciting news about Lactoline and Lama. For various reasons, I have a love-hate relationship with Lama. Morning all, how are you doing? It's 2nd of January, Monday morning, so I'm on my way to the workshop because Lama preparations are full steam ahead. Lama is nine days away, and I've got a lot of work to do. You might ask why, why are we so put ourselves under such pressure? And the trouble is, we're just busy. We're always busy and um, we're busy doing jobs that pay and to be honest this next week it's all going to be about getting ready for Lama and that doesn't pay so that's why we try and shoe on as much of the non-paying work into as small a time as possible to just minimise how much we're not earning. Nigel's coming today so Legend is going to come and help us get ready for Lama. He'll also be at Lama with us uh, which is a massive help so we'll uh, we'll get on and get get jobs done in the workshop. I wanted to show you this. This is a uh, part of a crop roll that we sold back in May, and uh, we've taken it back in part exchange for two other crop rolls that they've bought. And for some reason, the paint's gone really weird on it. It's like gone all dull, and I've never had anything do it like this before. So I'm a bit confused as to what's gone on. But like if you rub it. It comes shiny again, a bit there, we've just been trying to work out what's gone on with it. But um, yeah, it's one of the things that uh, I hate about making equipment is the paint because I want it to be perfect every time. We do a good job of it, but this is proper weird. I can't work out what's gone on with this, it's just strange. <coughs> so we're going to sandblast it and repaint it and uh, once we've finished it will be right. This is the first load to go to Lama, that's a silo crab and a film layer. So that will be checking down tomorrow to my brothers by Johnny. And then there'll be another load to go on Friday. And then I have a load to take myself on Sunday. So we've made these. These are frames for crop rollers and a wrap and twine and compact front boxes. Basically to make best use of the floor space that we have. If we could try and uh, go up. These are masked up because they're going to be painted bright orange. The whole point being to help people understand that our boxes are different to everything else because they go on the front linkage of a tractor when the arms are folded up. It's quite difficult for some people to sort of understand and it's because it's different, because it's not how things are done normally. Some people struggle to, to get their head around it, which is fair enough. It's, uh, yeah, just the way it is. Just on sorting out a bit of an error, uh, so I offered up the, the crop roller to the frame that we've built for it to go on and uh, the top link goes in that hole there that went in but then these didn't just line up so we're just having to re-drill them so Nigel's just on getting the mag drill out so just a bit of proof that you don't always get it right even if you're joint computer so we'll uh, get that sorted and then throw it on jobs are good in what do you reckon Nigel? <laughs> Still preparing for Lama, so I've been using the tractor to uh, sort this weeder out. So that's an interplant weeder that we import from Italy. Just wanted to tidy it up, make it look smart. So it's on its pallet that will go on the trailer. So I'm just taking the tractor back and I'm going to uh, get my pickup back because Johnny's taking the first load and he's taking another load tomorrow. So this and a transplanter will go to Mike's down in Staffordshire ready for Sunday. Just got across to Howard to get my pick up and um, thought I'd talk to you a bit about Lama. One of the things that we do 
one of the downsides with Lambert is because I'm a small business and it's me and Lindsay and various other people that help us, it does put a lot of strain on resources and we rely heavily on other people like Nige and my brother and Howard borrowing his tractor um, and Johnny taking stuff to Staffordshire and they're, they're all to pay um, so but it just it does um, yeah, it's one of the downsides of it as much as I enjoy going when I'm there we do, we like, we do sort of pull on a lot of people to be able to get there which even though we pay them doesn't always feel good Morning all, how are you doing? It's, uh, what time is it? It's half past five, Friday morning, the week before Lammer. Lammer's next Tuesday, Wednesday. Under quite a bit of pressure to get things sorted for Lammer. Um, and a few disasters yesterday. Transplanter that was due yesterday from Italy was delayed to today and now it's been delayed till Monday, which I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to Lammer in time, which is a real frustration because it's a quite a special one. It's a two row, one person transplanter, so I really wanted that there. And granted, yeah, we're cutting it fine anyway, and it should have been here before now, but it is what it is. So I've got to try and sort out if it's even possible to get it to Lama. If I could get it redirected to Mike's in Staffordshire for Monday, there's a chance I could go from Lama, pick it up and get it in. But our problem is that our stand is right at the front of the hall. So getting stuff from the back of the hall where you take it in on a forklift to the front of the hall on Monday... It's not easy, but we'll see if we can work out a way of doing it. Uh, the other problem yesterday morning, this was all before six o'clock. The salad crab broke yesterday. There's a, um, a bolt and a washer came off, pin dropped, and it's bent part of it. I went and looked at it last night to see what I needed. It's not going to be that difficult to repair. We just need to make one part and then I can get it put back together. I already have, there's a bent part, but I have some of them in stock anyway. So that's um, not so bad. Um, Today I've got Nigel's coming, uh, I've got a chiropractor appointment first thing. I've got to go down and before I go to my chiropractor appointment I've got to do some spray painting to get that sorted and hopefully on its way to towards drying. I've got to set the 3D printer off printing some parts for a compact front box. I've got to set Johnny off down to Mike's uh, with a weeder. He was meant to be taking a weeder and a transplanter but that's not going to happen. And we've got a bit more loading to do on him so he can go and then putting together compact front boxes and crop rollers to try and get that sorted ready for me to load tomorrow afternoon to head down to Lama on Sunday morning. I've got a bit of office work to do for, before I go spray painting as well so I've got a fair bit on. But first it's a cup of tea, need a cup of tea, every first thing every morning I have a cup of tea if not several to get me going. This is the second load to go to Lama, so notably there's a massive machine missing because it was due yesterday, then it was delayed to today and now it looks like it's going to land Monday at Mike's in Stafford, fingers crossed, which is a bit unhelpful really but it's part of it. So that's a weeder, we're sending the pallet for the transplanter that was meant to be here so that it can be put on there when it lands and those are the banners and the TV stands, so Johnny will set off down to Stafford with this in the next sort of 20 minutes. This is one of the jobs we got done yesterday, was basically, that's two crop rollers, a 16 and a 12, with twine carriers and a wrap and twine on top. And there's a bit of a question mark about how strong it is, because there's quite a bit of weight there, that's 350 kilos, that's 200 kilos. The one on the top's not really going to put that much strain on it, because it's going straight down. 
but obviously because these are suspended there's a lot of weight just on this point here and it uh, so it'd be fine if it was stationary but because it's going to ride all the way to the NEC I think we might end up just chocking these two up a bit just to make sure it doesn't do anything stupid I don't think it will but it'd be a right mess if it did so this is to polish and wrap up cover up so we don't have to clean it all at Lama. Fight night before Lama. So we're having meals on wheels. Trying to get everything done. Much appreciated. We're getting there. <laughs> Slowly. Slowly we're getting there. We've got everything to get organised and loaded for tomorrow. So that it's ready for Sunday. And then we're down to NAC on Sunday. God, so good, and this is epic. <coughs> he has been dancing around today, singing the praises of lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. <laughs> Glad you like it. I've just been on with a quick 3D printing project. This is a product we're going to have at Lama. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because we're going to show you at Lama. But basically, we needed to mount a light on a pole. So I 3D printed this part, and I'll just change the colour of it so you can see. The red part is the part we've 3D printed. This is how it 3D printer lays down every single layer. So that's going through the process of it, making it from the first layer all the way up to layer number 99. And if we go right back to the beginning, you can press play here, and that's basically simulating where the head goes when it's doing its printing thing. So if you speed this up, it will fly around. So that's basically how it prints what it prints you see the head sort of moving there going round and round so yeah quite cool really the key to the 3d printer is good software i've had to go with a few different 3d printers and uh it was always a fight i even ended up buying a brand new one and the software just didn't work the software, this software I mean, the software on the printer probably worked quite well, but because you couldn't, the software didn't allow you to orientate anything, or scale anything, or multiply anything, it just put it on the bed, and you couldn't do that with it. So sometimes it'll import a file, and it'll put it on the wrong way around. And what I mean by that is, this has a flat surface, and it also has a curved surface, so you wouldn't 3D print it on this edge, you'd go on the flat edge. Well, if that software imported it, the other way up you couldn't change it around it was brand new and I couldn't get any support so I ended up sending it back I think that's why it was cheap because the support for the software just didn't exist and the software didn't work that's the part I 3d printed that's basically mounting light onto a round tube and it's uh, yeah it's turned out pretty well just on loading up two pallets to go to Lama Hopefully can't see because of the sun. Lama, just driving down the lane at mum and dad's, it's been a bit of a mission to get, get sorted out until late last night and then early this morning and I'm about three hours later than I wanted to be. We're meant to be booked in, well we're booked in for 12 o'clock and it's 10 to 11 and it's three hours. So um, yeah, running a bit behind but we'll get sorted out and we'll get there. 